Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol RTTR. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So, all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you to do this time frame that does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out with levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Very rough day today for this one, no doubt about that. But what's make this interesting going into next week, and this will mean a little bit more to those of you that have traded for a while, but if you have traded for a while, I'm sure you've seen a stock that gaps down, and then after the gap down, the price just does something like this the remainder of the day, where it just kind of bleeds and bleeds lower and lower the remainder of you know the session. But that, wasn't, that didn't happen here, right? So that didn't happen. What actually happened is the price just simply started to go sideways. Now, don't get me wrong, and I really wish I could say trend was this easy. Just because there was a gap down and then the price started to go sideways does not mean that this is for sure the bottom and that for sure some sort of bounce is going to happen. But it's at least logical. It's at least a rational thought to have that, hey, you know what? Maybe this is the bottom. Case in point, if the price did look like I had illustrated, where all it was doing is going down and down and down, and I'm sitting here saying, hey, it's looking like this could be the bottom, you would be totally justified to say, what are you talking about? Well, that doesn't make any sense. It's literally going straight down. But in, like I said, in this situation, it's going sideways. So again, does that mean it is for sure the bottom? No. Is it at least rational? Is it at least logical to think it could be the bottom? Absolutely. And that's where this level comes into play here as a very important area down here at 30 cents, which is that level of support. And nothing fancy behind that other than the fact of, well, if the price goes down there and then blasts down through there, well, then obviously this is not the bottom because, well, the price would be putting in new lows at that point in time. So no rocket science or anything uh, in, in regards to that. So keep an eye on that level uh, as support. And then what about levels of resistance? So in the event this is uh, some sort of bottom forming and the price is getting ready for the further move to the upside, let's talk about some potential battlegrounds. Initial key level of resistance that'll need to be broken if there's gonna be any chance at a further breakout to the upside is right there at 34 cents. This is the area that was tested a few times this morning. And then after 34 cents, it's basically a, a blue sky breakout because uh, there's you know nothing until up there over a dollar. Now, I'm not saying that if the price breaks there, it's shooting straight up to a dollar. My point is that technically speaking, there just isn't anything else. So you have to kind of just view that as a blue sky breakout. So which again is another factor that makes this a very interesting setup going into next week. So we'll see if this is some sort of bottom or not. And if it is, can the price you know generate enough momentum to get a, a worthwhile bounce? Let's see what happens. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.